Moving into the modern age, we'll discuss the influence of Joseph Pulitzer, the influence of radio and television on the printed newspaper, and today's changing media landscape. Joseph Pulitzer left yellow journalism behind to create a better legacy for his profession. The world launched crusades against corruption in government and business. He funded one of the first schools of journalism at Columbia University in New York. He also established the Pulitzer Prize to encourage journalistic excellence. The advent of radio and television brought an end to the newspaper's media monopoly. Radio offered a new source of entertainment with both sound and music. By the 1950s, television had become prevalent in American households. Now newspapers responded by instituting tighter writing, better formatting, and improved design for more visual appeal and corporate consolidation in order to save money. Meanwhile, back at the newspaper, print journalism has adapted to the challenge of no longer being Americans first or favorite news source by relying more on facts and less on sensationalism. They learned how to use the inverted pyramid style, which puts the most important information at the beginning of the story. Newspapers became more colorful and more readable with photos, illustration, and alt copy to lure in readers. The internet created an even greater challenge for newspapers, and many would argue that the business is in crisis mode. The economic recession of 2008 resulted in major declines in newspaper ad revenue, and the numbers have just never returned to previous levels. Newspapers have to work even harder to compete in a saturated media landscape. Finally, people are more likely to get their news online than from a print newspaper. While that's good news for the newspaper's website, that's not something that they can easily monetize. 